Hi, my name is Abhishek Rai and I work for BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management product. Today I'm going to talk about requesting cloud services on behalf of another user. The plan is to discuss and perform following importance of this feature, how to perform this, difference between cloud admin and tenant admin role. Once you're done with this activity, cloud and tenant administrators can request service offering on behalf of any cloud user to save time and enable faster implementation of the service. During the demo, we will review this feature on cloud admin and from my cloud services console. So let's switch to cloud admin console. Okay, I'm on a BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management Administration console and have logged in using my admin user. And I am on uh, service instance workspace and under service catalog section. Here are my request for offering. So let's select one of uh, the request for offering. So click on uh, this icon. Review your request will offering and then click request now. So on cloud advanced interface uh, form, in case you have got uh, option and option choices, select your option choices and click on next button. On this section, fill the name, description and quantity for your service offering. And then under service recipient, you've got two options, self and another user. So as we are going to perform, as we are going to submit the request on behalf of the other user, let's select this radio button and click on this icon. So as I have logged in using my uh, cloud admin user, I have got uh, tenant search box enabled for me. Let's click on this drop down menu and select uh, your tenant. So either you can choose your company or you can cho choose any of the tenant. In case you have logged in using tenant admin user, you'll only be able to see the users from your company. But in case your tenant admin has got assigned to multiple tenants, then in that case, system will uh, show you this uh, box enable and uh, the tenant admin will have an option to click on drop down and select a particular tenant to search users from that company. So let me select tenant company and search something called uh, login ID called CE3, click on search button. So nothing is there. Let me just select CE and then click on search. Okay, so I've got three users and I can select any of these. So let me select CET1, select. Okay, so it has populated tenant as tenant, name, and then phone and uh, the call center just in case you have uh, configured it for this user. So there is no entry for that. Now provide the instance name prefix. So for example, I'll go for demo, username, password, and then click on next button. Now with these information system will go ahead and check the quota available for that user. And under the quota details, you can see that uh, the quota is set to unlimited uh, for that particular user. Just in case uh, quota is not available and you submit a request, the request will get failed. So once you're done with this, you can click on submit. Uh, let me switch to my cloud services console and show you the same activity. Okay, I'm on a new my cloud services console and I'm under the catalog uh, section. So let me select uh, one of the request for offering. So let's select this. And uh, once you select that, your system will show you the detail section of your request. So on the left hand side, you can see the total cost, uh, quota, and the technical owner is basically uh, the user with which you have logged in on this console. Uh, there is an option called change owner. Let's click on that. And from here again, you have got two options. Uh, either you can select uh, a user from your company or you can uh, select the tenant and search for the users as we have got logged in using cloud admin user. So let me uh, select the cloud uh, provider company. Select that, click on drop down, and you have got uh, multiple users to select. So I'll go ahead and select AC1, AC1. Click OK, and you'll see that the technical order has been changed and quota has been validated for this user as well. I hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for watching this.